Carolina, but fighting out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. He is ranked number nine by the World Boxing Association. Ladies and gentlemen, here is James Bone Crusher Smith. opponent in the red corner, wearing the white trunks with the black lettering. He weighed in at 233 and one half pounds. This young man has 25 wins, only two losses with 17 knockouts. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen, here is the World Boxing Association heavyweight champion, terrible Tim Witherspoon. Witherspoon. So we're underway then, and the final words from the New York referee, Louis Barriera, who will not score. Mommy punch, and he knocked down, go to the further neutral corner and stay there until I tell you to come out. The three knockdown rule is on. Check hand when the bell sound to my fight, and good luck. So the final prayer there from uh, champion Witherspoon. And what a strong man this is, Bone Crusher Smith. Short on finesse, but a powerful puncher as we come out for the opening round then. And bingo, Bone Crusher Smith going to take his chance. Remember, this is a return fight. Witherspoon had to go 12 rounds to defeat this fella for the North American boxing title 18 months ago. Bone Crusher stopped Mike Weaver in one round. Is he going to try and do it again? He's hurt Witherspoon in the opening round now. And Witherspoon has never been on the deck as a pro, and only once as an amateur. Oh, and he caught Bone Crusher coming in there. He paid for that one. What an explosive start. Well, for a fight that was never going to happen in the first few seconds, we've seen enough, Jim. Well, Bone Crusher has nothing to lose, everything to gain, and that's the way he's looked at it, as you can see here. He's hoping for a quick knockout. Oh, yep. Witherspoon's legs have gone there. That was a good shot from Bone Crusher. Got him bang on the chin. Witherspoon's in a bit of trouble here. One of the great turnarounds of all time, this is going to be. The substitute who looks like spoiling the script. The man who can see at least a million dollars coming his way and not afraid of fighting Mike Tyson. And it looks as though Witherspoon's approach to this fight's all wrong. First time a count as a pro, he's going to get the mandatory eight count. Minute 39 to go in the opening round. And I tell you, can Witherspoon survive the round, let alone the fight? His second time down, if he goes down three times in this round, it's automatically stopped under WBA regulations. The full eight count. This man throwing away a fortune, hanging out the chin against at least one of the most powerful men in the game, if not one of the most skillful, but it doesn't seem to matter in the heavyweight division. And he's still got time, over a minute to go in the round. It's a wonder Witherspoon can cope not having been on the floor before this. And now it's all over! With 49 seconds to go in the opening round, three knockdowns automatically, and that has got to be one of the most sensational turnabouts. The man who literally came from nowhere and stopped the champion, and in fact, murdered him, Jim. Well, we thought Tyson caused an upset last month with Berbick, but nothing like this one. Nobody gave Bone Crusher Smith a chance, but he came out with the biggest chance of his life, and he knew it. He acted like he wanted the title. I don't know what was in Witherspoon's mind, but he didn't seem up for the fight. Maybe he thought it was going to be as easy about as they had last time. But uh, Bone Crusher Smith had different ideas. He never left Witherspoon alone in the three knockdowns. I don't really think Witherspoon was in serious trouble. His eyes look nice and clear, but he's been on the floor three times, and the rules say he's lost his title. Well, I tell you what, Jim, the cynics have got something there to worry about. It's a game straight, all right, isn't it? So let's have a look at this in replay now. I'm not sure whether this was the first knockdown. I assume it was, yes. The right hand comes in from Bone Crusher, and he's on the way down there, and he pulls away Bone Crusher. He doesn't follow it up immediately. 
16 stone, four and a half, remember, Bone Crusher, looking from a different angle, Jim. Well, Bone Crusher kept Witherspoon under pressure all the way through, never gave him a chance to get any power into his punches, over he goes there. And really lucky not to go right out of the ring there, Tim Witherspoon, that the ropes weren't joined together, so he didn't have much chance. This man now has really uh, had three on the turn, the man who you will recall knocked out Frank Bruno in the last round, the tenth round of Wembley, when he was being beaten. So let's have a, yet another replay of that, and I tell you, Witherspoon want, want to see these two often. I, I had to say, Jim, his mind must have been all at sea when he came into this ring. Yeah, well, I can only imagine it was, Reg, but even when he was over, it didn't seem... It, his eyes didn't look to be in serious trouble. They looked clear, it looked as though his wits were about him, but he just couldn't seem to keep his feet. See, that was the, the final one, and that is where the referee now has to stop it. And in any case, he was right, whether it was three knockdowns or not. Ladies and gentlemen, with the three knockdown rule in effect, referee Luis Rivera stops this bout at two minutes and 12 seconds of the first round. And the winner and the brand new World Boxing Association heavyweight champion, James Bone Crusher Smith. So the man quite rightly milking every bit of applause he can from the Mecca of Madison Square Garden. And you've really got to hand it to him. He, he came out there to take chances and Witherspoon just was not prepared. Only half a pound lighter with a spoon than when he fought Bruno, but Joe, Jim Watt and I really thought he looked slimmer. We were deceived by the weight. Exactly what happened there. I mean, I know you hit the other guy, but do you think he just wasn't prepared for you to come out firing like that? I don't think Tim with a spoon was ready. He fought me uh, a year and a half ago, and he dominated the fight. He hit with some hard shots, but he still couldn't knock me off my feet, and he won a unanimous decision. But I wanted to pay him back. I knew. He wasn't concentrating on the fight, and I want to use all that to my advantage. Can you believe it yet that you're champion of the world, Bone Crusher? What about the Mike Tyson fight now coming well, up, the real Mike. money? We're going to fight Mike Tyson in March, I think, and it's going to be a good fight. But he really hadn't been hit yet. He hadn't been t So uh, we can't compare Mike Tyson with a guy like Tim Witherspoon. Tim Witherspoon was a great champion. I hit him with some hard shots, and I've been in with a lot of good fighters. Yeah, I know. And, I, and I've hurt some, and I knocked a lot of them out. And, uh, I'm ready for Mike Tyson. Well, you did it to our man in England, Frank Bruno. Now you've done it to Witherspoon. Who knows, you might do it with Mike Tyson, yeah. the way things are going. I think so. I'm on a roll right now, and 